channel and thank you so much for stopping by so I've been meaning to do this video for I don't know how long but today I'm finally gonna do it I'm gonna finally bring you some shrimp and grits if you love shrimp and grits then definitely stay tuned and I'll show you how I make mine but before we get started please don't forget to like these videos so we can get noticed here on YouTube you guys share these videos with everybody you know and don't forget to subscribe and I want to thank all of my new subscribers so enough talking let's go ahead and get cooking right now I'm gonna get started with some andale smoked sausage and just take it out of the package and begin slicing it up now there are many recipes for some shrimp and grits and you can even use bacon, you know, your favorite bacon. But today I just decided to use some good old sausage. So right now over medium heat, I'm going to add some grapeseed oil. If you have some olive oil, that's also fine. It's just going to help to brown up your sausage. So as you can see, I've already added the sausage to the pan and just move it around so that it can cook for a few minutes on one side. And I'm going to continue to stir it and flip it around, just making sure that all of my sausage is nice and golden brown. So after a few minutes of cooking, I'm ready to take my sausage out of the pan. It's not going to take very long, you guys, and that's what I really love about this recipe. Nothing takes forever to cook, so it only takes a few minutes. Now it's time to cook the shrimp, and I'm going to use the same oil that I used to brown up the sausage. And I'm using jumbo shrimp, and I've already cleaned and deveined them, and it's something that you always have to remember when you're cooking shrimp. And it's only going to, again, take just a couple of minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and season the shrimp with some sea salt and some black pepper. So after two minutes of cooking, my shrimp is starting to turn pink and curl up and now I'm ready to flip them over so they can continue cooking on the other side. And at this point, if you feel like your heat is a little bit too high, you can reduce the heat because you really don't want your shrimp to overcook. So the shrimp is looking golden brown and delicious. So off camera, I went ahead and I chopped Greek garlic cloves and I'm going to add that to the shrimp along with one tablespoon of chopped parsley and I chopped three green onions and I'm going to add that to the pan as well. And now I'm ready to add even more amazing flavors like a half a tablespoon of Cajun seasonings, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, for some heat dashes of hot sauce, you can put as much as you like and two tablespoons of some fresh lemon juice. And just grab a spoon and mix everything. You just want to make sure that all those amazing flavors come together. And so the only thing left to do is to add the cooked sausage at the very end and then just grab a spoon and continue to mix everything together. And wow, it looks so good. You can absolutely eat this all by itself. Now this is all done. Now let's start making the creamy cheesy grits. In a saucepan over medium heat, I'm going to add three cups of chicken broth. You can use water, but I think chicken broth just adds so much more flavor. So these are the corn grits that I like to use. You can find them at some grocery stores. I get mine at Big Lots, believe it or not. But if you can't find them anywhere, then you can buy them online. Now my chicken broth already came to a boil and I'm ready to add one cup of grits to the pan. Now I'm just going to take my whisk and the key to some really good grits is to continue stirring, stirring, stirring because you don't want your grits to get any lumps or bumps. And I'm just going to continue to stir and once you start feeling that resistance, while you cook, then that means that the grits are soaking in all that delicious chicken broth. After stirring my grits for five minutes, I'm ready to add three tablespoons of heavy cream. Mm. 
Here's two tablespoons of unsalted butter. You just continue to stir it until the butter is completely melted. And now at the very end, I'm gonna add two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. And I really like sharp cheddar cheese because it just has a lot more flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in and grab my whisk and continue to stir until the cheese is fully melted into the grits. Now I understand this recipe is so decadent. It may not work well with your New Year's diet. Look, it doesn't work well with my New Year's diet, but when you're ready to treat yourself, you should absolutely try this recipe. So right now I'm just going to turn off the heat. I'm going to cover the pot with the lid and just let the grits sit for a little bit. So like I said in the beginning, these shrimp and grits are super easy to make and you can enjoy them for breakfast, lunch, even dinner. And look how creamy and cheesy they look. Amazing. And definitely you can pile as much shrimp and sausage on top as you want. And that is it you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share this video with everybody you know. And take a picture, follow me, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. you might as well go ahead and click that subscriber button down there and if you want to see another video go ahead and click that box you see right over there until then thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate you all and i will see you very soon in my next video Bye bye